Lessee Accounting. Lessee is the company which uses the asset on lease basis. So when it uses the asset on lease basis, it can do the accounting, you know, uh, through two methods. One is finance, finance lease. Another one is operating lease. Okay, in finance lease, it will be structured even though the company is uh, using it on lease basis. It will be structured as if the company has borrowed money and uh, the company is uh, using the asset. The borrowed money and bought the asset. It will be structured like that. Okay, whereas in operating lease, uh, it is obviously, you know, the company is just paying for the use of the assets but not buying it. That is operating lease. Okay, and uh, the accounting standard also can differ. It can be for IFRS or it can be for US GAAP. Okay, so the example that I'm going to do here is for finance lease. That means even though the company is not outrightly buying, the company is just using the asset on lease basis, but then the structure, it will, do, it will be such that as if, as if like it has borrowed and bought the asset, borrowed money and bought the asset. How it happens, I will, I will uh, do a sum and then show it to you. Okay, so this uh, uh, finance lease that I'm going to do, it is applicable for IFRS also and US GAAP also. So, so for both it will work. In fact, it will work for uh, IFRS operating lease as well. Okay, so, you know, under IFRS, be it operating lease or finance lease, what I'm going to do uh, is applicable for both. And for US GAAP, it is applicable for finance lease. So only here, it is not applicable. Okay, what I'm going to do. Operating lease under US GAAP, it is not applicable. But for the rest, it is applicable. So let's do this with an example. So let's say there is a company which agrees to pay, which, which, which is using an asset on lease basis for four years and agrees to pay 10,000 every year, 10,000 every year. Okay. So this is, uh, and it wants to do finance, uh, see under IFRS finance lease. Okay. That means all this will be applicable. Same method. Okay same method here so company using the asset for four years paying payment of uh, 10,000 per year and because as I said like you know we will assume that as if it has borrowed money and it is repaying every year 10,000 so that means it is paying with interest so interest I'm assuming as 5 percentage per annum okay 5 percentage per annum is the interest so if this is the case how uh, how will we structure it as your borrowing and how will we structure it as an asset uh, and how will we do the accounting so that's what we will see it now so let's let's you know uh, form some columns over here required to do the sum okay now before i form the column i need to uh, yeah i need to find out the borrowed amount okay so on this basis how will i calculate the borrowed amounts so you use your calci okay and find out the borrowed amount so n number of uh, periods of payment four times they are going to pay interest per year is five percentage present value is what we are going to calculate payment is ten thousand they are paying every year future value is zero because at the end you know the uh, the value of the asset will be zero and the borrowed liability will also be zero so what is the present value so when you when you key in all these details you will get the present value as 35460 okay so this is the present value now so this is the present value means what this is as good as i have borrowed for this amount so when i have borrowed for this amount how will i show as the asset and how will i further you know year by year how how much will i show as the liability so in order to calculate let's frame uh, a column so this is year then beginning beginning liability beginning liability then interest expense interest expense then lease payment 
lease payment then principal repayment principal repayment then ending lease payment ending lease payment then book value book value of right of use asset so these are the columns required okay and uh, for year zero ending lease uh, ending lease liability not payment this is liability lending lease liability okay so initially the liability is 35460 so as if like you have borrowed 35460 for which you are repaying 10000 every year so when you are borrowing you know uh, 35460 that means you have the right to use because you are borrowed and you bought the asset as uh, you bought the asset assume in this way so so you have the right to use this asset for 35460 you have bought this asset this is for year 0 then for year 1 for year 1 so this ending liability will become my opening liability 35460 then interest expenses i will pay 5 percentage interest expenses that comes to 1773 then i am paying uh, 10000 lease payment every year my principal repayment will be 10000 minus 1773 so that comes to 8227 and ending lease liability will be 35460 initially it was 35460 minus 8227 i have paid this much of principal so my liability will be 27233 and my asset so i will be using you know straight line depreciation method and so how it has to be done is the liability and the asset value will differ slightly now 35460 this is the asset i have which i am going to use it for 4 years that means each year i am going to depreciate the assets value by 8865 so that's why 35460 minus 8865 will come to uh, 26595 26595 okay then then for the second year this 27233 will be my opening balance 27233 into 5 percentage comes to 1362 and again 10000 repaid so principal repayment will be uh, from 10000 minus 1362 okay so that comes to Eight six three eight, and so ending balance will be this amount two seven two three three minus this amount eight six three eight repaid. So this comes to eighteen five nine five. Eighteen five nine five. Okay, then the last one asset will be. Twenty six five nine five. It was minus eight eight six five. Every year I will reduce eight eight six five. It it will come to seventeen seven thirty. So this is for second year. Now for the third year. So this is my opening balance. Uh, it is eighteen five nine five. So. It is eighteen five nine five into five percentage comes to nine thirty and ten thousand uh, EMI paid or ten thousand uh, installment paid and uh, this will come to ten thousand 
minus 930 comes to 9070 and here ending liability will be 18595 minus 9070 principal repaid so my ending liability will be 9525 and right of use asset will be 17730 this number minus 8865 comes to 8865 then fourth year Uh, 9525 will be the opening balance into 5 percentage I will pay as interest which comes to 475 then 10,000 is the uh, is the loan uh, 10,000 is the installment and now 10,000 principal repayment will be 10,000 minus 475 that comes to 9525 and uh, so here 9525 minus 9525 this 9525 and this 9525 principal repaid 9525 so it so ending balance is zero and here also 8865 minus 8865 comes to zero okay so the liability is also zero at the year end fourth year end and the asset is also zero so this is this is how uh, i'm supposed to do uh, lessee accounting under ifrs okay under ifrs uh, lessee accounting be it finance lease or operating lease or the same thing for us gap finance lease as well this is how i'm supposed to do and here the questions can be like you know you see the opening uh, liability and this liability and uh, asset is same liability and asset is same initially and after that you see asset is decreasing at the faster rate because it is following straight line depreciation method uh, it is decreasing at the faster rate in comparison to the liability so these questions can be asked okay and at the later stage okay at the later stage it again comes to all zero but otherwise what happens is asset is uh, decreasing at the faster stage okay and uh, yeah so first year you see um, 27233 26595 18595 17730 here 9525 8865 9525 8865 so asset is uh, you know depreciating at the faster rate but then finally all balances comes to zero <clears throat> if you want to know like how this has to be done uh, that is operating lease under us gap operating lease under us gap so all you are supposed to do is over here uh, only see the liability part will remain the same the way we have calculated only in assets instead of calculating like this with straight line depreciation you will use the same amount you know 35460 uh, same amount liability same amount in the liability side you will use the same amount in the asset side as well okay right of use asset here okay so this if you if you use this way if you use this amount here 27233 that means you are using uh, you are using the operating lease under us gap okay so this will be 18595 this will be uh, 9525 then this will be uh, this anyways is same zero fine so this is for uh, us gap operating lease this is how you are supposed to do okay and uh, i have assumed here that you know these are for these assets are used for long term for short term the treatment is slightly different uh, for short term but you know whatever i have done over here be it uh, uh, whatever i have done over here the assumption you know uh, the assumption is the asset is being used for long term okay thank you thank you so much for your time